I consider Rome like a lover. I mean, sometimes with a lover you fight, you have arguments, but when you are in a place like this, you have this day, you have this beauty, how can you be in love with this city? Ciao, welcome to Rome. I'm Ivan, I'm 25 years old and I live and study here in Rome. I study business of art and tourism at the University of Tor Vergata and plus I'm also a writer for Spot Locals, which is a series of travel blogs spread around uh, Europe and North America. I write articles about my favorite places in the city. We usually refer to Rome as the La Città Eterna, the eternal city, because there are thousands of years of history, but it's also a modern city. Roman people, they're really proud of their city. They know that they belong to a city where something for the whole humanity started. They are so easy going. Their mentality is more like a small town mentality. That's my opinion. A thing that I really like about Rome is that no matter how many times you walk through a street, you'll find something new, something you didn't see the previous time. Every day you'll find something cool to do in Rome. You'll never get bored here. So now we are in San Lorenzo, which is our really popular destination for Roman students, especially because there is the biggest university of Europe around here, which is La Sapienza, more than 100,000 uh, students. So this is one of the most vibrant neighborhoods of the city. There are many bars, many restaurants, many cool places, some galleries, some vintage stores. There's also a large presence of street art. There's a, a really long wall painted by Alicia Pasquini, which is one of my favorite Roman-based street artists. It's, uh, kind of popular thing now among Rome. In fact, there are like entire buildings covered with street art. Now we are inside San Lorenzo, which is one of the best places for chocolate lovers in Rome. Ciao, posso avere una fantasia di cioccolato? Here there is such a large selection, so I never know what to order. You can buy chocolate, uh, you can also like do uh, lunch or dinner, regular dishes but with hints of chocolate. I can't resist anymore. I have to try one of these immediately. Chocolate spoon, that's amazing. I remember I just walking into the street and then I just watched their window. I thought, oh my God, this is something really interesting. This is Dorothy Circus Gallery, which is one of the most innovative galleries in Rome. You can play with the works. You can touch them, you can open them. It's a really interactive exhibition. Someone referred to them as a middle way between New York City and Wonderland. in particular that you don't really expect in Rome. I remember the first time I was walking through here, I felt like, where am I? If you have a spare hour, a really nice thing to do is a visit to the Coppa de Neighborhood. It's a complex of buildings that were all projected by Gino Coppa de, which was an architect at the beginning of the last century. 
15th from the animal world. There is the spider's building, there is the fountain of the frogs at my back, and details from the uh, fantasy world. The famous Italian director Dario Argento uh, set many horror movies around this zone. This place is not a museum, people actually really live here. This is a residential zone, a really pretty one. It's time to eat. I'm gonna show you something special. Now we are in Italy. It's a sort of an entire mall only about Italian food from every part of the country. It's famous all over the world and here you can get the best quality of it. You can also try their food because many restaurants are spread all over the building. So now I just order a bufalotto, which is a dish composed of buffalo mozzarella and many vegetables spread all around in such a nice way. So I just had amazing appetizer, but I'm still up for more. So now we are in Monti, which is a great place for nightlife, and here I'm going to meet my friends. So now we are having an aperitivo, which is something that you usually do before dinner. There is like a free unlimited access to a buffet, so you get so much food that it's actually a dinner. And it's so popular among students, because like from 8 to 10 euros you can have a dinner and a drink, which is a great deal.